Hey folks, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we are going to debate on a very interesting topic, PhD versus MBA. Many students come to me asking this question. In fact, last video somebody commented saying why should we prepare and study so hard for PhD when MBA pays us better? Why not go for MBA? So in today's video, we're going to do an unbiased debate and discussion on MBA versus PhD. And I'm going to show you some pitfalls and some benefits of both sides of the story so that you have clarity of thoughts and you can make a decision better in your life. So here's a thing which I wanted to highlight before I get started. And that is I'm going to be totally unbiased towards PhD or MBA so that you get clear pointers. Okay. However, my personal, pref personal preference would be a PhD, but that's up to me. What you decide, let me know in the comment section because that will be very interesting to learn from you. And uh, so let's get started with the video, shall we? Okay, let's get started. Welcome back. So now we're going to start with this debate. The first question which comes in my mind is PhD, MBA, are they not like apple compared to oranges? Actually right. Yes. You see MBA is a different type of course. PhD is a different type of course. The only thing is the entry level is okay after your master's you can either get into a MBA or a PhD but you have to be cautious about this. Okay. There are multiple benefits as well as pitfalls. So you should know all of that. And that's what I have compiled with my nine pointers in today's video. The first one, which is, which one pays more? Well, if you are at the top notch of your PhD career, even PhD pays better than MBA. MBA also pays if you do it from a top notch institute. So that's a different story. But both the cases, did you notice something? And that is if you, okay, there is always a if after your degree. So you do PhD if, you do MBA if from, you know, that's if. So that is where this one comes. So if you want to really do PhD or MBA, you should do it from a very, very highly reputed organization or institution. If you're doing it from a mediocre institution, it's not going to help. So whether you do PhD or whether you do MBA, do it from a high profile institution. So that's the first point. Now the second point, truth of MBA. So I'm going to you know, help you analyze now by exploding a bomb here. The truth of MBA is right in front of you. When the market broadens, the competition also broadens. So suddenly now you are no longer in the life science industry. So you are into a general industry. So when you are in a general industry, there are more people competing with you, not just from life science domain, from physical science, from chemical science, everybody is competing with you. So suddenly the competition increases when the market broadens. So when you get into MBA, the truth is the market will broaden. So the competition will also will be high. And that reflects in all the MBA interns exam question papers, you go and check that out. Okay. Now coming to the truth of PhD. Now when the market narrows, so when you do a PhD, your market narrows demand of your talent can go up okay but here also there is a if and that is your PhD should be in, on a topic which can be easily commercializable or has already been commercialized or is going to boom in the future okay so say CRISPR, NGS or uh, bioinformatics so you know that is where it works so in both the cases this is the truth with, if you want to go into MBA, remember as soon as you come out of your bio sciences cocoon, competition will increase. It's not that the other field of people are not doing it. They will also come to MBA. So there will be a competition. Badega, your competition will increase and you will be in trouble. Now, same with the uh, truth of PhD. Now, I want you to do an exercise. And that exercise is very simple. And that is, take out the question paper of CSIR net and take out the question paper of CAT. Okay. Please check both and see how many questions you are able to solve. Okay. Now both the entrance exams, one helps you get into PhD, another helps you get into MBA. Okay. In high profile institutions. So go and check. 
which ones you are able to solve. You will see and you will feel that since you are from biosciences, you will be able to solve CSIR net questions better. So familiarity is better. So market is narrow because less people write it. Not like MBA, like 5 lakh or 10 lakh people will write. CSIR, less people write. So your chances of qualifying is higher. On the top of it, you already know the subject. But when you are going for an MBA, you need to solve quant, maths, all sorts of things, which you have not studied for past several months or years together. Agreed that there are coaching institutes for MBA also. But at the same time, that is going to be a real tough situation. I, I have seen so many students who joined Biotechnica. They went, did coaching for one month in MBA and they realized they, this is not their cup of tea. They left it, came back for CSR. However, without being biased, I am warning you, Please go and compare CSINET and CAT question paper. It is available for free on internet. You will realize your strength and your weaknesses. So this is all about the part of uh, CSINET versus CAT. Now we'll come to the next one, which is question paper analysis of all the previous year, not just the uh, last year. Go and check out all the previous year. Now, if you disagree with me, please download all the papers, go and check it out. All the last question, last year question papers, when you will see, you will realize that your probability of getting more marks in CSIR is higher. So your chances of success is higher in CSIR than CAT. However, if you feel that your chances of getting a higher score in CAT is more, then go ahead and write CAT. Now, here is the next point. Mediocre college MBA versus non need PhD. Now, you see, why do you know Abdul Kalam and why don't you know any other missile, uh, you know, uh, tech, uh, tech engineer or somebody? Because he was Abdul Kalam. So wherever you go, just field me jao, ka badshah bano. No matter which field you go, you go into acting, you go into horticulture, agriculture, you go into science or maths or arts, whatever, become the top notch person. Mediocrity, so if you think, okay, I'll not write CAT, I'll directly go and do MBA from a mediocre college. So life may mediocre hi rahe jaoge. Never ever accept mediocrity. Make example dunga. You know, middle class, India ho ya kahi par bhi. The whole world knows ki kisi bhi economy mein the middle class works the highest, pays the highest tax and suffers the most. Garibo ko subsidy mil jayegi aur amiro ko zarurat nahi. But middle class sab se jada pista hai. Same way, the mediocre MBA college, when you will choose, you will be in trouble. Now, if you say, okay, I'll not write CSR and I'll go and do PhD directly, even that is not of any use. So, whether you write, go for MBA or whether you go for PhD, exam, likke jao or top notch institution mein. Don't go into any other institution. Okay. So, that's my point. Next, opt for MBA only if two reasons. Number one, if you can write CAT and qualified and for that you need to drop a year my dear friend if you think that you can just write cat for one month you can prepare and qualify it doesn't happen you have to you have to drop a year prepare for cat religiously then qualify it is not so easy second thing if you don't want to do cat then you you are free to do mba from a mediocre college but for that you need to strongly hate life sciences okay and you are okay with a mediocre life where you will not miss your life science subjects like biochemistry, molecular biology, genetics. If that's the case, okay, you can always do that. So opt for MBA only if this is the case or you want to quickly get started earning. But you know, you can always do that in any field. But at the end, you will not go far. Remember, you have to reach the far. You have to become the Nobel Prize winner or a missile man of India or you know some somebody who leaves a legacy behind. Mediocre look to bahut hai dunia mein. Why to become mediocre? Why not try for something bigger, grander? So with this, I'll come to the conclusion now. And uh, before the conclusion, I should also talk about expectations versus reality. And that is, if you are thinking that the job guarantee is there after doing MBA, aap galat ho, please ja ke Google karna. Please go and Google employability of MBA graduates in India. You will know. Okay. There's so much of data. Many MBAs are unemployable. They are just doing a regular 10,000 rupees, 15,000 rupees ka job. If you think that you will you will get a high salary after MBA, jhoot hai, hai. You have to be from a top-notch institution. That's where you can. 
another thing is that work environment will be different work profile also will be different so you will not be able to relate to whatever you studied from you know plus 2 se leke abhi tak jo bhi pada ms masters mein kaam kiya sab waste hai it's, it's of no use because once you get into mba it's a different story okay capitalist economy hogi log paise ganenge bas and there will be no relation between what you studied and what is there so that's where uh, expectations will hurt and this is the reality now let's conclude this video without any bias i can tell you this that grass always looks greener on the other side abhi aap life science mein ho to you are feeling mba and cat is better go prepare for mba cat for one month you will feel csir is better so ye jo hota hai na ye mind game hai ye mind khelta hai aapke sath game it is nothing to do with ki some, something is better or, or worse another question why did you do msc life sciences then you should have done done bcom mcom something like that right and then mba you did for a purpose and if that purpose is not getting fulfilled then okay go for uh, mba thinking that phd mein scope nahi hai mba mein zyada hai to mba mein competition bhi zyada hai phd mein bhi competition hai aisa nahi hai nahi hai struggle aapko you have to do struggle both the places okay now third point all your life science knowledge will go waste if you think that whatever i studied will uh, you know will be used in mba it's of no use okay even if you get a mba after mba hr you get a job in novartis or some pharma company whatever you studied is of no use there right you are doing different things right of course on job learning is always there you learn lo a lot on the job but the point to be made here is at the end of the day whether you want to do phd or mba bottom line is you will have to struggle and you have to achieve the penultimate of success you should not live in mediocrity mediocrity is sin mediocrity ek paap hai okay mediocrity is sin please don't settle down for a mediocre college for mba or a mediocre non net uh, you know university phd koi fayda nahi hai so this is my conclusion for now and uh, let me know what do you feel or think and if you have some more strong points Uh, which will help our other viewers so put them down in the comment section in the meanwhile any kind of help or uh, you know confusion or dilemma you have put them down in the comment section i would love to answer all of them so with this we end this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one till then dhanyawad namaskar bye bye